Uh, we're, we're waiting on election results. We got our early results in, and Christian Archer is the campaign manager for Pre-KSA. Christian, what do you think of these results so far? Well, they're strong so far, and, you know, we obviously we want to watch and see what it comes in on election day for sure, but, you know, to be uh, to be winning is always a good thing, okay. uh, and we're happy to be, to be in the lead, and I think that it shows um, great support for the mayor's vision for our city, Randy. And when I say that, we passed the bonds overwhelmingly. The mayor went to the voters with a complex problem, which is education. If you ask 10 people how to solve education, you're going to get 10 totally different answers. And so for the mayor to do this, to grab the bull by the horns and to say, here's our pathway to success for our city, that pathway won't pay off for a while, you know, and yet he still did it and moved forward with pre-K for SA. And for the voters uh, right now, so far, uh, to be standing behind him is a great endorsement for the mayor and a great endorsement for the future of our city. In regards to the, um, you were talking about the vision for the city and things, a lot of this has to go back to the fact that the legislature kind of shortchanged San Antonio and the state as far as the uh, funding and things like that. Sure. Do you think that had any impact or help? or what, What's your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, I think that, you know, look, San Antonio, but the Milken Institute rates San Antonio the number one place to do business. We've got a AAA bond rating from every credit rating agency in the, in, in the country. We're the only major city that does that. What's important is that we continue to invest in ourselves and invest in the future. And that's exactly what Pre-K does. The state, with their, with their education cuts, shortchanged us. And we weren't going to sit idly by. And Mayor Castro came forward with a plan that was bold and said, we're not going to, we're not going to let Austin or Washington, for that matter, dictate our future. We're going to make our own determination for our future. And it's great to see the voters rallying behind his message and rallying for the future of our city. One last thing. So the, the interesting thing also we see with early voting, early voting always typically comes in from the north side. As more uh, election results come in from the rest of the city, do you see this number going up? Should, should be more favorable for us.